I love anthology stories. You get to do small snapshots of big emotions and jam pack a ton of different flavors into one piece of media. The Overwatch shorts are a good example of this. Those 10 minute videos will have you jumping for joy, bawling your eyes out, and punching the air in excitement. There's something for everyone and just about anyone can appreciate them for how well done they are. Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review new movies and television shows and try to release a new review every day from Monday to Friday. Today I'm talking about Tales of the Jedi. It's based on the stories by George Lucas, created and written by Dave Filoni, and co-written by Elon and Charles Murray. It stars Corey Burton as Count Dooku, Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka Tano, and Dee Bradley Baker as Captain Rex. Tales of the Jedi is an anthology series centered around the lives of Ahsoka Tano and Count Dooku during his time as a Jedi. In small 15 minute chunks, it turns both Ahsoka and Dooku into stereotypes of their former selves while breaking canon at the speed of light. The anthology series follows six different mini-stories. Three of them are about Ahsoka, and the other three are about Dooku. In Ahsoka's three episodes, we have the story of her first hunt, how Ahsoka trained under Anakin, and how Ahsoka joined the Resistance. For Dooku, we have a story about him and Qui-Gon Jinn solving a hostage situation, he and Mace Windu investigate the murder of a Jedi Master, and what Dooku was doing during Qui-Gon Jinn's funeral. None of these stories are original or well-written. They rush through the topics presented and fail to flesh out the characters, the universe, or the plot. They tried to do stories that required more time than they had, and it shows. Watching Dooku fall to the dark side would have made for an interesting show. They could have shown us snapshots from his life that when put together would explain why he made the choices he did. Instead, we see him arrogantly insert himself into two situations only to screw them up and then murder a friend. It ruins the character of Dooku and makes him seem like an egotistical loser that fell to the dark side because he didn't get promoted rather than a guy who lost his faith and took the road to hell paved with good intentions. The stories revolving around Ahsoka are a little better, but they are stories that the current canon has already covered plus a story about her as a baby. It's neat, but doesn't really add anything to her character. We get a lot of cultural moments and a slap fest between a gigantic lion and a frail woman that somehow doesn't end in serious injury for either of them. At best, it shows us that she was a special baby, but we already knew that. All Jedi are special babies. Literally all of them. We saw Ahsoka grow up in the Clone Wars show, so another training montage really doesn't tell us anything about her. And while that fight between her and the Nameless Inquisitor was kind of cool, it lasted a total of 15 seconds. It's not some huge memorable moment. It's just Obi-Wan versus Maul with Ahsoka and a new extra inserted in. There's also no emotion behind it because we haven't spent any time away from her and the Inquisitor is just some guy. Every episode left me wondering who this series was for. You won't understand what's going on if you haven't seen the prequels. And if you haven't seen the Clone Wars show, then Ahsoka's stories aren't going to be that interesting to you. Both sets of stories rely on you, the audience, being heavily invested in Star Wars lore. They don't explain what Jedi are or how the universe works, and the dialogue often presupposes that everyone listening to it understands what's going on and can fill in the blanks. For example, we see Qui-Gon go off on a mission and then we get a long scene of Dooku and Yaddle dancing around the topic of his death. Neither of them actually says he died and it would be easy to misunderstand what they were talking about. This anthology series also doesn't work for anyone too invested in the Star Wars lore because you'll be able to see all the inconsistencies with the established canon. It quickly becomes apparent that they have butchered Dooku's character, and the events of Ahsoka's final episode contradict her novelization. So it doesn't really work for fans of the series, and it definitely doesn't work for anyone who isn't familiar with the series. It seems to be aimed at people who don't care about canon but still want extensive world building, which seems contradictory. Production-wise, it's well done. The visuals are up to standard and the music generally fits well with the scenery. The music can be a little loud, but it isn't overly distracting. The one big gripe I do have is that the fight scenes should have been a lot more energetic and amazing given how short they were. We got a lot of standard lightsaber swings with basic force moves and it was a little disappointing. The voice acting was standard. The returning cast does what they can to bring life and energy to the characters, but the dialogue and story were working against them. The characters don't speak that much and a lot of what they talk about is just stating what is happening or explaining a minor concept. There's little time for anyone to emote, and the story never delves beyond the surface. Star Wars has become something of a dumpster fire, hemorrhaging money and losing all of the grace George Lucas built up. Instead of presenting us with new stories about new heroes in a galaxy with endless possibilities, they hand us half-chewed, remixed versions of their own work and pretend like we're crazy for noticing. 5 out of 10. 